Okay, I'm a little embarrassed. This is a little bit cheesy, but I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. Somebody asked me for a video a while back on how our setup works on our buggy, putting out reels and picking them up and putting out fence. So I'm gonna do that. And then I've got a friend that for some reason is incredibly intimidated by a poly wire and a reel and they wanted a video on how to use this stuff. So just, this is kind of a basic beginner's guide. I'm sure there's a hundred different ways to do this, but this is kind of what works for us. Uh, this is PowerFlex Poly Braid. Love this stuff. This has probably been on this reel for three or four years. I think this is an O'Brien reel. There's a lot of different, uh, yes, this is an O'Brien. A lot of different brands out there. We've tried them all. Um, there's probably not enough of a difference between all of them to make a big difference. I don't know how many feet are on here. Our normal poly wire run is going to be about 400 feet just because it's so fast to, to put out and to pick up. Um, so I don't know how many. There's probably eight or 900 feet. Of, no, there's probably a lot more than that on here. This is one of those Ammer handles. It's insulated if you hook it here and hot if you hook it there. That's pretty handy. So what I'm going to do is uh, this obviously is the real lock. Very simple. It won't roll while the lock's down. I'm going to put the lock up. I'm going to put the reel on the buggy and I'm going to go hook on to our post over here and I'm just going to kind of show you very briefly what we do whenever we put fence up. Uh, this is our our spool holder there. It's not all that tight but it works pretty well. A lot of people like to put their uh, poly up and then they go back and they put their post in as they come back. We used to do that and you say oh it's so nice. Once you get to where you're putting up five or six reels a day, if you can do it all in one trip, to me it's all about how efficient and how fast you can get it done so it's less work. We've got several little tips and tricks that we use, but this has only been on here for about, I don't know, six months or a year, and I really, really like the concept of being able to put it all out at the same time. So I'm going to go hook on to a permanent post over here. O'Brien post so much because we can put them out and we can pick them up while the fence is hot and yeah I get shocked if you follow me on Facebook I get shocked a lot but I'd get a shock, shocked a lot more if it wasn't for the solid uh, plastic post so what I normally do is I'll just grab a couple posts out of where we keep them back here and I'll throw them on the seat behind me start off with the reel a little bit tight now for Sarah and for a lot of you guys just picture yourself walking, okay? So um, I'm gonna drive because I'm lazy, but you can walk these things out. You can put them out off of a tractor and deep water before. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. But you can just picture yourself walking. Um, one thing about putting it out and putting the post in at the same time is you do have to drive a little slower. Whereas if I was gonna hold this reel in my hand and put it out and then come back and put the post in, I would go a little faster but uh, to me it's worth it to do it all in one trip and to just knock it out so I'm just gonna crank the buggy up it might get a little bit loud I'm not gonna go very far I'll probably put three step-ins in and then I'll put a permanent semi-permanent post at the end and show you that I'll go ahead and get a post in my hand now a lot of people talk about counting or Sorry, I should have said this before I started. A lot of people talk about counting and getting your space right on the post. Idea um, how many feet 
part of my post. I don't know. I don't really care. If you do it enough, you'll kind of get experience and figure out what you need. So the next step is when we get to the end, if we're putting up a timer, we're putting up a gate, we might um, put a temporary post in. So I'll throw my lock on like that. I'll roll my fence up like that. This is what I use on my ends and my corners. I've got a little homemade post pounder that uh, is a we use to drive them in. So all I'll do is I'll drive that in the ground probably about a foot. Pound her up so I don't lose it. That's happened before. And then I can take the lock off. This is where it gets tricky if you're working with a hot fence. Like I said, we do it. I was working with a hot fence and I wanted to make the real hot. right there and kind of wedge it on there some reels hold it tighter than others if I'm gonna do that it's temporary I will probably take a step in and I'll put the step in through one of these pre-drilled holes sorry and then I can set the reel on it like that and it won't go down what we normally do